if you think of Sony VR and basically any Sony peripherals that they've developed and came out over the past decade, one studio was basically the driving force behind it all. That studio? Sony Interactive Entertainment London Studio. Let's get it. Cue the intro. I know my way to everything I'm working on. Every night another song. And they quiet all along. They gon' notice when I'm gone. What's going on YouTube? This is your boy FC Violent. Back again with another SIE highlight video. This video will be discussing London Studios. Who are they? Where are they located? What games do they make? What's their purpose? And my thoughts on Sony London Studio. Before we get started, if you missed my first SIE video about Sony Ben, definitely check it out before checking out this video. And again, before we start, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscription button, hit the bell button. Once you do all of that, you'll be awarded and uh, note notated on when my videos are occurring. So anyway, I appreciate you guys if you do that. Let's get back to the video. Now, let's talk about the history. Who is SIE Sony London? Well, they were established in 1993. Sony London was then formed, uh, what you know, known as Sony London in 2002 by a merger of Studio Camden and Team Soho. So they were created in 1993. Sony had other studios. Instead of having multiple small studios, they merged them all together and created what we now know as SIE London Studio. So what games do they make? Ah, man, Sony London has developed many games throughout their history. The 26 year history uh, are filled with such games as SingStar, Wonder Book, iToy games such as Grove, PlayStation VR Worlds, and their most current release, Blood and Truth, the VR game. Now let's talk about what is their purpose? Well, London Studio has two purposes, all right? For PlayStation. One purpose is to focus on emerging technologies and pushing boundaries. An example would be iToy, right? They developed, they'll help, help create iToy and make games for it. Same thing with the PlayStation VR. And pretty much any new innovative technology that PlayStation has going forward, best believe SIE London Studio had a hand in developing and or making or even critiquing in it. They will, they're going to have an influence. That's what the studio is really, you know, based upon. It's their purpose. So for PlayStation VR, what, what games, you know, have they made for it? Like I mentioned earlier, they made VR Worlds. They made Blood and Truth, which is out now. And again, their purpose is to also not only help make the technology, which they help make the PlayStation VR, but they also help push that technology by adding, providing software. But not any software, any you know, compelling software for what PlayStation is now known for, which is these heavily story-based games. And enough of me talking about it. Here's an interview from VR World interviewing Stuart White, uh, head of the studio, one of the heads. Um, and the sources are in the description below, along with the full video. I suggest you check that video out. Now enjoy the video. It's a very much a team that has got this great track history in VR and you know there's not a lot of teams with a great track history in VR to this day. VR is so new but the team at London Studio have been working with Morpheus right from the beginning and their vision and the direction they wanted to go of like creating triple A VR experiences just really resonated with me and I, you know, I, I'm, I've got a background of working in big game development and I wanted to work with that team on kind of really pushing the ambition of what we could do in VR. And then, you know, and also I played um, PlayStation VR Worlds and loved it. So it was like, yeah, that, that sounds cool. But with regards to what a console can do uh, and sort of the PC VR, there's obviously a, sort of a big distinction between what is physically possible. What do you think the next steps are for VR consoles? Obviously, Sony has done very well with the PlayStation VR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are they going to expand, or how do you think? How do you think you can build on on the console VR? So I think you know. Uh Sony's doing pretty damn well in the um, VR space at the moment. You know, we've got, sold over well over a million units of the 
the hardware to date. Um, we've got a big push coming this holiday, as I mentioned in the talk just then. You know, I think you know experiences like were announced at uh, Paris Games Week last week are really helping to galvanise in the consumer that you know, particularly you know, for if you're interested in, in VR and you're interested in gaming, then PlayStation VR is definitely the home to be at. And I think you know, like PC gaming, you know, it's great that there's other platforms out there. It's great that we're going to see innovation across all the board. But for us, you know, that fact that we're very much for the players and focusing on on gaming means that we get to do experiences which I think might be a little bit harder to do on some of the uh, smaller platforms. We're right at the beginning of this journey, you know, this is Gen 1, Gen 1 hardware, we're very much in the just had our first year uh, anniversary, yeah there's a hundred titles that have come out in that time which is amazing, hundred games sorry that have come out in that time and you know we're all as a development community kind of looking at what other people are doing and what works well and what doesn't work well and, and just trying stuff and that's what makes it so exciting is that we're kind of just all pushing innovation in new ways and you know what we're trying with Blood and Truth you know we hope that we're going to hit some things that other people take inspiration on and that as a as an industry we kind of just keep building and growing because you know VR is definitely here and the potential is here um, and it's now about delivering on that potential and making those big games. What are you most excited about in the future for virtual reality? <laughs> I'm most excited about like if you see where we are now with virtual reality, the dream as to where it's going to be in 10, 15 years time. I mean, I, I don't have vis visibility of that, but it's going to be cool, right? It's going to be <laughs> awesome. As you see from the video, it basically lays down the foundation on what the studio is built upon and why they are a, a vital cog for SIE, which is Sony Interactive Entertainment. Let's get to my thoughts. What do I think of SIE London Studios? Well, first, disclaimer, not a big fan of VR. Um, I don't have VR yet. My biggest gripe about VR is that they don't have enough compelling software for me to get it. Most of the VR games are just too, I don't know, simple. Look, it's not enticing for me. And it's hard to sell VR because it's one of those things where you have to try it for yourself and and the experience outweighs the the optics, right? Um, so, uh, that aside, I do have to shout out Sony Interactive London Studio for helping to push VR. So, you know, so other peripherals that Sony's made, the PSP, um, the, the PS Vita, things like that, it has failed due to a couple factors. But one of those factors is not it doesn't have enough software. You know, not 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 enough things to push the their peripherals. VR is doing it's doing okay and mainly because of that is because they have software helping develop those games and along with other Sony studios that I'll be discussing later on London Studio has a big impact on that with as you can see in the background blood and truth now just by looking at that game you would think you know if you think of VR game you think of something something light like a game where you're picking up things and maybe a rail shooter but this game is it makes you puts you into a, a a character and you're and you're playing a role in a story something that you would play in a regular non-vr game so what sony london studio is doing is kind of recreating that single player narrative game in a vr world so not only are you getting the story from it or the the compelling story that you're used to on playstation you're also kind of living it because vr like i said is a is a in the moment you feel it because you're seeing it through your eyes or the, the pr or the playstation vr lens and you're just going about it through a vr world and friends of mine like shout out to Dirk griggity mentioned how this game is actually pretty dope so if i had a vr i would try it out so my take on it, shout out to SIE London Studios for helping push VR, even though it's still kind of considered niche. But in order to get out of that, you got to keep pushing these softwares and I commend them for pushing the VR genre forward, as they mentioned before. And lastly, I want to touch upon, and again, because they're, they're, they're the ones who helped build the VR, just imagine down the road what this technology 
could be. If you haven't seen the movie, Ready, uh, I think Ready Player One, you will understand why I can't wait for it to hopefully get to that. That is amazing. And these are the groundworks for that being the future technology. So I don't want VR to die. I want it to keep living. And shout out to SIE London Studio for making it happen. Anyway, that is the that is the end of the video. This is your boy FC Violent. If you like my content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave comments in the comment section below. And remember, keep it gaming. I'm out of here. Peace.